All right, so again, Technology Office Hours, April 2017. This session is being recorded, and if you check the chat box, you can find um, a hyperlink to today's slides. Thank you. All right, um, once again, this webcast is being recorded. The link um, is also on the About This Webinar slide. Please feel free to use the chat tools to ask a live question. And if you have your microphone connected, please mute your microphone until the question and answer portion. Thank you. You can also connect using your phone if for any reason you have problems with audio. Check out the um, link in the chat box. The audio information is also posted. Okay. Feel free to use the chat feature to enter your technology questions today. The purpose of the webinar is to provide information about technology updates and other items, professional development, and so on. If you have a question about technology, feel free to type it in. And if we don't have the answer here during technology office hours, then we definitely go out and find the answer and post it in our question and answer forum. Okay, our webinar agenda for today looks like this. We have technology updates, upcoming training and professional development, frequently asked questions, tech tools, and then your questions. Okay, I'll get started with technology updates. First update comes from the technology website and we have posted a map of our Google certified educators in the district. If you go to the EBR schools tech site, you'll see on the front page and if you are a Google certified educator, you can complete the Google form that is linked there and add yourself to the Google certified educator map. And our, the thought process behind this is to try to create a visible community of support and of educators learning together and networking together in the district all around becoming more proficient and becoming proficient in Google's tools. And so every um, pin that you see on the map represents an educator who has gone on and completed the modules um, pr provided by Google to become recognized by Google as a certified educator. All right, I just pause there for a moment for announcements here at Lee High School. So again, if you you are a Google certified educator, by all means go on and add yourself to the map. If you know a Google certified educator at your school and they need to join us in the community of Google certified educators, by all means have them join us. And again, the purpose for this map is just to begin to provide a place for teachers and educators to network together on the journey towards becoming Google certified um, or just becoming more proficient using and integrating Google tools in the classroom. I also want to mention um, some information about GoGuardian and the hyperlink to access the GoGuardian website is linked on the screen. GoGuardian provides cloud-based Chromebook management and it allows teachers to monitor and also to control Chromebooks in the classroom. It's a wonderful tool that many teachers are accessing and really loving at this time. One ticket can be submitted to the help desk when training for a site is complete. So if you have questions about getting GoGuardian trained, email edtech at ebrschools.org and we can have a conversation about getting your site trained so that you can also have access to GoGuardian if you don't have access at this time. I also want to mention the EBR EdTech Forum. It's part of the brand new EBR technology website and the wonderful part about the EdTech Forum is that you can post a question that you may have about technology one of the members of the EdTech team will find the answer or find some information so that we can help you post a ticket um, to the 
uh, help desk system if you're not sure what question to ask or how to ask the question we try to find out and then post an answer on the EdTech forum but most of the time people have questions about things like maps integration tools property control, Promethean boards, as you can see we have a variety of topics and we try to find an answer to questions and post it there, especially questions that come up a lot over and over again um, that teachers and administrators may have. Also on the technology website is some help on the help desk itself. Uh, there's some information there that will help you access the help desk ticket system school dude and there's some common questions and some answers there such as who should submit a help desk ticket should be everyone submitting their own when to submit a help desk ticket when not to submit a help desk ticket and how to submit a help desk ticket and one of the best parts of this page is that there are even some uh, tutorials on this page how to access the help desk and some help on how to submit a help desk ticket. I have just a few brief updates on technology training and PD. There not, aren't that many at this time, but there will be more coming soon. Uh, the Google webinar series is continuing. It's going to take a break for spring break, but then return on Wednesday the 26th. We'll be looking at Google Forms, Google Search, add-ons and extensions, and then SAMR plus Google Apps um, to round out the rest of the school year. So there are four webinar Wednesdays left in the school year, and you can use the hyperlink on the PowerPoint presentation to register. So please share this with teachers at your school who may be looking around for extra information about um, integrating Google Apps for education in their classrooms. We've got four webinars left for the school year. If you've missed some of the webinars from earlier in the spring, you can check out the EBR EdTech YouTube channel. And on the channel, you'll find the playlist with the webinars that have been recorded and uploaded to YouTube. And you can also find other technology tools and tips as well. So other tutorials, mainly about Google. And then you'll also find some channels that um, we subscribe to uh, as an EdTech team to keep you up to date with some really outstanding content. A couple of Canvas updates. There have been some questions that have come into the EdTech team about how to access maps in the um, Canvas platform. So in the PowerPoint I've included a link to the maps course. You can also get to maps by going into your, your courses on the left-hand side um, in Canvas if it's not on your dashboard. So I've included that hyperlink. And if you go into maps and from the home page, scroll down to the area. If you're looking for EdTech videos, hit the play button uh, next to educational technology and it'll take you into Canvas where you can go through the modules and find EdTech videos. You can also find Google courses that have been posted online at this point. We have Google training and certification. Many um, educators have been going through Google training and certification and then uploading their certificates from Google. You can receive CLUs for participating in Google training and getting Google certified. Um, we also have courses at this time for Chromebooks. Google Docs, Google Drive, and also teacher website training using Google Sites. And coming soon, we will have co courses posted on Google Sheets, Google uh, Forms, and also Google Classroom. So you'll be able to take an entire learning experience online in Canvas on Google Forms, Sheets, and Classroom as well. I've got one save the date for you for EBR, and that's the EBR Flip-Flop EdTech Summit. Save the date, July 27th and 28th. More details and a call for presenters will be coming soon after spring break. So we will start um, calling out to educators around the district who have something wonderful going on in their classrooms and who would like to be, share that with other educators during our EdTech Summit, July 27th and 28th. 
One last um, mention about PD. I want to mention that the Southeast Assistive Technology Center is hosting and promoting a two-day assistive technology, uh, actually it's an alternative and augmentative communication summit. And it's t entirely online and completely free. And there's a link to register for the free online conference. So if there are um, ESS educators or regular classroom teachers who are interested in learning about assistive technology, specifically alternative and augmentative communication, and the devices and the strategies in the classroom um, used to assist those students in their learning needs, you can register for a free online conference. And that's through the Southeast Assistive Tech Center. I've included a hyperlink to the Assistive Tech Center because they have a lot of wonderful resources that educators in our district may not be familiar with. So be sure to share the hyperlink to this center. They do a, a wide variety of trainings and webinars, um, workshops as well, and they have a, an entire library of learning resources here as well, centered around technology. All right, question and answers. I don't have that many this month. I have a few that I'll just go through really quickly and then I'll allow you to ask any questions, that, uh, type any questions in the chat box that you have. Um, one um, question that's come up pretty recently is, how can I find answers to common questions about things like Active Inspire? And the answer is to visit the new Promethean Support Center. Promethean has put together a support center that has information on flat panels, interactive whiteboards, projectors, and so on. And many times prior to placing a help desk ticket, you may find an answer to a question that you have regarding a problem on this Promethean support site. Many times you may find information you need about an active panel or an interactive whiteboard or um, a pen, interactive um, whiteboard pen, in one of the manuals or one of the documents. If you don't find an answer in one of the documents, check out the how-to videos on the Promethean support site and the answer that you're looking for may be on the Promethean support site somewhere in one of these how-to videos. So definitely share that link out with teachers at your site, especially those that have questions about the interactive whiteboards. Another question that comes up a lot and has been coming up a lot recently is how can I get funding for an innovative classroom project? And can the district, and that usually goes along with the second question is, how can the district purchase my favorite program or how do I get my favorite classroom gadgets? Can I put a help desk ticket in to request a program purchase or um, for the district to purchase um, some gadgets like Google Cardboard? And the answer is oftentimes to look for funding sources. If not within your school, sometimes you can look outside of your school. This month, there is a special opportunity available known as the Deborah Rochelle Grant. It's also called the Kelly Jean Cook Grant. It was called the Kelly Jean Cook Grant for many years. And it provides $3,500 to teachers. Um, in this snapshot, you can see they specifically award this uh, grant to educators in East Baton Rouge, Livingston, and St. Tammany. Many, many teachers in East Baton Rouge win this award every year, and they use it to implement innovative projects in their classrooms, usually involving technology. So if you have an educator at your school and they're looking for funding for something innovative that they want to do, make sure they check out all of the information about the, um, the Kelly Jean Cook grant. There is a deadline. You'll want to check with um, Dr. Patricia Friedrich in the grants office, and I've included her email on the slide so that you can get all the information about the requirements, deadlines, and all of that kind of information. Lastly, I've got some free instructional technology. It's called Common Lit. Share this with your teachers. ELA teachers love Common Lit and also um, teachers looking for content in science and social studies commonlit.org. It's a free collection of fiction and nonfiction for 5th through 12th grade. You can search the collection by grade level, 
my Lexile range. Or you can just look for um, things like the articles that have been added most recently, the lowest Lexile or the highest Lexile. So if you have um, teachers at your sites and they're looking for high quality content for ELA, Science and Social Studies, check out commonlit.org. All right, I'm going to jump over to questions at this point and find out if you have any questions. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to type in the chat box. Let me go into the chat box. Okay, I got a great question. It is, how can a person get credit for courses taken? Well, they need to submit documentation to the PDC. If you um, take a course online, what we do at this point is when you complete the course, and I'll show you an example of one. Okay, here's uh, Google Drive. So when the teacher completes the course in Google Drive, they submit um, a Google form at the, at the end of the course at this point, and when I get that Google form, I go into ERO and I award them the credits. Now, ERO is going away, and um, Go Sign Me Up is going to replace ERO, so the, the two uh, programs actually talk to each other. So the new program, Go Sign Me Up, and Canvas talk to each other. So now when teachers complete courses in Canvas, they'll receive credit in, um, in Go Sign Me Up. So that's a good question. So yes, you can, you can definitely earn CLUs for completing online courses. If you have teachers who are interested, have them complete cor begin completing courses online and just have them fill out the, the self-paced course evaluation at the end, and then we award them the, um, the credits. Um, another great question, will COUs be transferred over from ERO once ERO goes away? And the answer is yes. Ms. Robin Wax is in the process of uh, getting all of the information, archiving all of the information in ERO, including credits that teachers have earned over the, over the years, and, um, and we'll be loading that into a new system. Good question, because none of us really want to lose our, our credits that we've earned over the years, especially as we need them for recertification. Okay, those are great questions. Any other questions? All right, I'm going to hang around for a few more minutes if you have any additional questions. Um, again, just be looking for um, that save the, the date for about the EdTech Summit. Also, training, summer training. Uh, just be on the lookout. Make sure that you're watching This Week in EBR, and you'll see um, that there are dates uh, that are listed in This Week in EBR, and there will be more dates available as well posted to um, make you aware of training that uh, is coming up over the summer. If you have any questions, feel free to send an email to edtech at ebrschools.org, and we can definitely um, meet with you, talk with you, plan professional development that you may need at your school. The next um, EdTech office hours will be in, a, this should say May, 
will be on Thursday, May the 11th. And on Thursday, May the 11th, we will talk about closing out the school year um, from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Um, or just for as long as we need to for as many people who uh, have time to log in. And like I said, that's it for me. If you have any questions at all, you can email me. You can email edtech at ebrschools.org. And uh, please share out uh, the information presented in the slides uh, at your staff meetings, your faculty meetings, and with teachers.